All right, man, let's hurry up and get this hunk of carbonite to its owner. Hey, Captain Olivius. Boo. Oh, I, I didn't see you enter. Lord Barris didn't need to send a welcoming party. You're lucky I'm not an enemy, or you'd all be dead. Forgive me, my lord, but this is the capital world of the Empire. My men and I have performed much more dangerous duties for Lord Barris. The prisoner is frozen in carbonite, so he's not a flight risk. And this is friendly territory. Surely we're safe here. There is no such thing as friendly territory. No offense, my lord. That brand of paranoia may work for Lord Barris, but I don't subscribe to it. Which one of your men takes over after I kill you? Please, my lord. There's no need for talk like that. I heed your point. Let's get this oversized block of ice to your master. Not so fast. My master ordered that block of ice. So step away from the carbonite man and no one ends up in a grave. Your name, now. My name is of little importance. I'm here to relieve you of your burden. Whether that includes your own lives as well is up to you. Looky, looky. If it ain't Slestak, your master be wanting the froze man too, huh? Too bad for you. It mine. You two know each other. To know Tumar is to hate Tumar. That go true for you too, Slestak. If you don't flee, this be like killing two stone with one bird. I'm such a fool. I'll never doubt Lord Barris again. What do we do? Don't panic. On their own, Tumar and his lackeys wouldn't be much of a fight. You mouth always get you in trouble, Slestak. It about to chew off more than it can bite. You going to take that, Slestak? Very amusing. I do relish the opportunity to rid the world of Tumar and his drones. So I'll be with you presently, Instigator. Come on, boys. We smash the talk from Slestak's big mouth now! Well done. While they fight, my men and I will deliver the prisoner to Lord Barris. Thank you for buying us time, my lord. <laughs>